Alamini. Thank you, Jimmy. Good to be here. I am so happy to be here to, to, to honour uh, the life and work of David Kelly. David Kelly was in my life from my childhood, believe it or not. I remember um, Sunday evenings, David, it's a long, long time ago, but uh, every Sunday evening you and Jimmy O'D would come via RTE from the signal box. Um, and uh, I'll, those of you old enough to remember that great show will always remember David uh, looking at Jimmy and going, ah, no, Mr. O. <laughs> ah, they're all dead, I think. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, um, I was later fortunate enough to work with David in, the, in a, uh, a great film, Into the West, and uh, to be an actor working with this man you'd admired for so many years was just such a joy, and then to become his friend. And I remember David um, visiting Los Angeles on um, one occasion, um, was traveling up to San Francisco and I actually said to him that I was going to San Francisco too and rather than flying we should maybe take a drive together. So we did, we took a leisurely drive for three days up the Pacific Coast Highway and David talked and smoked all the way. And it was such a pleasure for me, I even remember passing Hearst Castle and pointing out, interrupting David, sorry David, that, that's, uh, that's Hearst, Hearst Castle over there and he looked out the window, mm, lovely, lovely, yes. Where was I? Where was I? And it was little moments like that over the years that I've shared with David have been very special. But a man who has spent even a longer time with David and, 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 and really, really wishes he had been here tonight is, is our great Milo O'Shea, who, yes, indeed, who unfortunately is indisposed and won't be able to make it. But Milo had sent um, some words he wished to pass on to David. And I think it's very appropriate, David, that you, you if, if you'll please beg my indulgence so I can read some of Milo's comments that he wanted passed on to you. It's a wonderful thing, Milo said, to be able to celebrate the wonderful accomplishments of a friend, and especially a friend who has been in one's life for such a long time. Through the funny and the sad and the very special of life's offerings, the birth of David Og, the birth of Miriam, and to think it all started on David's wedding night to his talented and one-of-a-kind Laurie Morton. We were, we were all... We were all on tour together. We were all on tour together sharing the same deeds. Belfast. You see? Paper thin walls, and, and not that I was listening, of course. But I, I hear David on his way to the loo. So I jump out of my bed and quickly run next door and jump into bed with Laurie. <laughs> you should have seen David's face when he returned to the room and saw Laurie and I with the covers up to our necks. He actually apologized for having gone to the wrong room, and he walked out. Anyway, he goes on to say that um, sharing a long life and a long friend friendship is so special. Not many have this. And what a gift to share one's life and one's beloved work with one's beloved and talented friend. Congratulations, David. We're so proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you David Kelly. Dearest David Kelly, uh, just wanted to take a moment to send you an enormous congratulations. Actor, actors, you know, aren't just the, the, the bread and butter of, of film or television or stage, but the kind of heart and soul of them as well. And um, we all know that sometimes those that play the lead roles in films are the most bland, and uh, and those that that surround the lead actors are really what what make the film worth seeing and what 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 give life to the particular piece. I bid you a fad farewell. A fad farewell. You can leave that in. I'm only out of bed. I bid you a fond farewell. And have a good evening. And um, again, congratulations, man. Any for a poor old man. Have you ever felt that you had a vocation? Oh, ask me, Ash. How dare you? Ireland, they say, has the honour of being the only country 
They never persecuted the Jews. Do you know that? It is within the authority of this review board to reduce you in rank to the lowest commission rating. Jesus, oh, me and my stupid stuff. Hi, David, and congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Award. You're a great actor and not a bad dancer. I know all about that, Mr. O, but the earwigs don't go lapping seven nights in the week like that Lou Moran of a nephew of yours. No, now enough is enough. I was always as I am. I was always as I am. Larry, if you're there, speak to us. Impossible. Can't believe it. Seeing is believing, sir. Not a lot of people know that. Just wanted to take a moment to send you all my love, all my respect, and to admit right here and now, in front of the gods, Ireland, all the rest of the world, that you are officially my hero. Where was I? The old man who decides where the guy goes. You hear? Come on, ye gallant Dublin crew, and listen to me song. Good lad. You're becoming a sentimental old fart, aren't you? <laughs> we didn't get away with it. Now, if we could just dispense with the aggressive body line. Take yourself and your side out of here! I'll meet you halfway. I'll take myself over here. When I was in Belgium, I used to see them cycling in all kinds of weather. He's a lovely guy. I don't know if you know him. No. He is <laughs> top man. We've been prisoners long enough, Colin. Let's be gardeners. With a whistle to play, I'd be set up for life. On the pig's back, I'd be. I'm telling you, Evo, the past is old, but the future is traditional. If you ask me, we were made for each other. Dave, you know what? You really are a psycho. <laughs> I send you lots of love, and, uh, well done. Be well. Ladies and gentlemen, from Stumpet City to Grandpa Joe by a Beckett, he's been quite simply an inspirational actor. David Kelly. absolutely overwhelmed by this incredible honor. The good news for you is I'm almost speechless. Uh, my, my sincere thanks to IFTA and all those lovely people who said nice things about me. Lying lot. Um, my I can only say that I'm grateful beyond words for this. I said in an interview earlier that my only true desire in life, ever, was to be an actor. And it is bizarre, truly bizarre, that I'm now being rewarded for having a dream come true. Looking... Looking around the room, I'm reminded, as if I needed reminding, that I am in goodly company. I see before me a whole room full of truly 
gifted craftsmen and artists, standard setters, people at whose work I can only marvel. And to be accepted by you as one of you makes me feel very proud. I've, I've worked with and indeed learned from a, a great number of you, and I feel privileged. Thank you. My thanks to my wife, Laurie, my family. David and Miriam and Max. Max is the dog, don't laugh. <laughs> and I want to thank the best agent on God's earth, Joan Brown and Al. Well, it's just sinking in that this is mine to have and to hold from this day it will never leave my grasp, and to quote another actor, from my cold, dead 